finger down slightly, okay? That's oh. it, yeah. So, I'd like to welcome everybody here. We do, we're, we're in Havana, and we're at the uh, uh, Protocol House, where we're gonna do a, the first tasting of the Bolivar Britannica, which is the new one coming out in, in UK for the, for the Olympics. Well, it's not for the Olympics, no, there's another one which, which um, will be coming nearer that time. But this, right. this one is in fact one of the 2011. So Simon's here with us, and um, Simon's going to explain a few historical notes on this cigar. Does the cameraman get a mention? <laughs> and Sean's behind the camera. Thank you very much. Just as well you guys don't see him. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can see the, uh, the boxes. They're going to come in boxes of tens. Each box is numbered. There's going to be 3,000 boxes this time, which is great. And um, R-U-E -E is the factory. Which, which factory? That's the factory. I mean, it's, it's the Partigas factory. The Partigas factory. Simon, if you can tell us a few... Well, I don't, if, if, if you wouldn't... Well, actually, just hold your cigar up, because but the first thing you notice is it's a very rare shape indeed. It's not... Panejo, it's not strictly double figurado, it's what I would describe, although some people describe all pointed at both end cigars as, as, as um, um, <laughs> perfectos, that's right. Sure. It is a classic perfecto, but uh, so it's got the, the almost pointed head, but rounded, so it's a bit of a cabeza tumbada, or a fallen, a, a dropped head, uh, and then it's shaped at the, at the end, but not so much to a point as you would find on a Cuaba, for example, so there's plenty of face on the foot of the cigar. Uh, I remember the, the shape being like the Celeste Finos. There was a, a this, the last time this was a commercial production size was up until, I don't know, you have to check the uh, Trevor Lee's website for the exact date, but some, something like the mid 90s. Right. Uh, Romeo had one called Celestialis Finos. But the reason why it presented itself, in particular, apart from the characteristics that you can see, um, for the British market is that, for reasons that nobody knows, uh, the Vitola de Galera, that's the name that they use in the factory to describe that, that shape, is Britannicas. <laughs> um, and so we, we were allowed to use the, the Vitola de Galera as a, 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 as a market name, or Vitola de Salida as well. And the Bolivar Britannicas has a nice ring to it. And oh, yeah, guess where it comes from? It has a great <laughs> ring. Where, where, where it's going to, rather. Not yeah, where it yeah. It comes from Cuba and it's going to the UK. And we're hoping to get these when? Oh, and we, um, in, they should be shipped in March. So, uh, I mean, I always have my fingers are, you can't see them, but my fingers are securely <laughs> crossed. <laughs> But no, we are hoping we that they'll come in We have it on good authority. Holding your breath might be yes. unfortunate, um, but there you go. As you will see in this close-up, there is one other new development on the UK regional editions, uh, in that they used to, on the second band, say um, Reino Unido, which is United Kingdom, but we found quite a lot of people weren't clear what that meant, so Grand Britannia. Mm -hmm. wow. So for Great Britain, mm -hmm. it's exclusively for, for Great Britain. And that, that word um, was a tongue twister as well. Uh, well, your tongue <laughs> is great. Is, is, yes, isn't it? it is, Shall isn't we it? talk about porn? No, we, we should, should not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we must not do that. The top of it. Oh, and the, the other point, the other thing we've done to uh, make it particularly interesting, as I'm reminded by my prompt man, is the, um, you'll see on the, sorry, it's I just, just want to, um, on, on the, the side of the box here, that label is known in the um, vocabulary of Cuban cigar labels as a papilleta, and it, it locks us the, the side. It goes over the side of the box and acts as a as a seal. And that is a, a papilleta design, slightly amended to meet the current Habanos um, SA demands, uh, which we have had printed specially by the Freitag Premium Printing in uh, in, in Holland. Uh, so specially for this particular box. So it's a it's a beautiful recreation of an original which uh, is long gone. And I think it looks I think it looks stunning. It acts on the character to the I mean, box there's as well. No warranty seal, there's no warranty seal on these yet because they're still inside the Cuban market. Yeah. And of course there is another message which unfortunately the government will insist we put on the front end. Yeah, time. yeah. And obviously that's because this is a, a private tasting uh, of, the, of these Bolivars first time today in Havana. Yes. Which is the day before, well on the day, on the Friday before the, gra the, uh, the gala dinner. I'm uh, mucking them about, no good at all. No, sorry about that, John. And what ring gauge are they? They are 48 ring gauge. And in point of fact, the Celestialis Finos, technically speaking, was 46. They've given us two extra ring gauge points, which I'm more than happy with. Absolutely. But I can't. 
perhaps I've seen smoking by myself in Kubi. Uh, it's got a super draw, behaves beautifully. Great. I haven't started my. I haven't started my cigar. I haven't started my cigar yet. Mine hasn't. And, um, Enjoyed every minute of it. I'm going to report back to you after I've started my cigar off, and let you guys know what my initial notes are on this cigar, especially smoking the prototype. Oh, you would say this is a prototype. Or no, 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 that's, 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 that's production. This is the end product. So this is exactly what we're going to get in London. So I'll report back in about 10-15 minutes and um, see how it is. Talk to you in a minute, gents and ladies. Bye-bye. <laughs> And it's a pleasure testing the Bolivar Britannicas or Gran Bretagna. And personally, I found this cigar really from the beginning. What surprised me is that just from the beginning, showing me uh, rich flavor, complexity, and uh, smooth. I think it would be a very very good cigar, very well accepted by the British smokers. Yes. Good. This is uh, Ignacio. Ignacio he... Balmaceda. I am Ignacio Balmaceda, the Cuban working in Hunter San Franco, the corporate director, since two years. Fantastic. Part of the team in, in Hunters. Yeah. Working with lovely people like A.G. Pater, first, first serious <laughs> passion, <laughs> love. All right, en all right, enough of the sales pitch. <laughs> well, I tell you what, this cigar, my second third of it, has developed fantastically. It hasn't, it hasn't got even stronger, but it's mellowed subtly. But it's got this unique, for me, okay, I'm bringing the mojito, so it's giving me the sweet characteristics to it as well. But the actual blend is superb. It's consistent. Um, it's not acrid at all. And for me, personally, it's going to be a great cigar. And smoking it in Havana, obviously, is the best. But I'll do another tasting when I get back to London. And um, we'll do a, a complete cigar tasting. And then I'll report back. Well, thanks for watching. This is directly from Havana. And the first tasting of the Bolivar Grand Brit Britannica, which is going to be released in the UK market, hopefully, in the next couple of months. So, hasta luego, gents. And talk to you soon.